Three people died and more than 170 were injured in the Boston Marathon bombings. One irony is that a dozen of them are currently being treated in the same hospital as Jokka Sanav. And after two successive nights of sirens and gunfire, people in this iconic American city will simply be relieved that their long ordeal has finally come to an end. David Willis. OK, let's have a look at the latest pictures which have come in of the suspects at Monday's Boston Marathon. These photographs taken by a spectator, Bob Leonard, shortly before the bombs went off. You can see there the two suspects, Tamaran Saniyev and his brother Jokar, with spectators near the finishing line, not long after the two devices exploded, killing three people, including an eight-year-old boy and wounding more than 170 other people. Well, the background of the two suspects will now be looked at in detail as the police try to piece together a motive for the attacks. The brothers had lived in the United States for more than a decade. They are ethnic Chechens from the troubled Caucasus region of southern Russia. The spokesperson for the Russian president, Vladimir Putin, had this to say just a short time ago. The president is following the situation in Boston. There is much contradictory information. According to the information, on the one hand, they are citizens of the Russian Federation, as their citizenship was reinstated. They arrived in the Russian Federation from Kyrgyzstan. For some time they studied in Dagestan at school. There's an assumption they arrived in the USA from Turkey with Turkish passports. According to the brother's uncle, they arrived in the USA say after they received political asylum. Putin in his message to President Obama expresses condolence and expressed readiness to give all possible assistance in investigating the Boston terrorist act. I think that contacts will be conducted between our intelligence services. Well, let's get more on that aspect of this story, the reaction to the bombings in Boston. Joining us now is Natalia Tvozovskaya from the BBC's Russian service. What's your reading of those comments from the Kremlin? Uh, from the Kremlin, what well, is interesting that, that Vladimir Putin, Russia, Russia's president, straight away offered this help and assistance in possible investigation right after the, uh, the explosion in Boston happened. And this is something quite unusual because usually you would expect some, just the expression of condolences, but this time the help was offered straight away. Okay. What are people saying to your service? What are people saying to your website, the BBC's Russian website? Um, there's been a tremendously emotional reaction, but the very first uh, expression was actually disbelief. Uh, like, for instance, Gazimur from Tatarstan uh, is saying, let's not rush to a conclusion until we get confirmed facts. Let's wait and see what uh, FBI says. Uh, and there were more questions asked uh, from people writing to our sites, like uh, Dima Danskoy saying, why, when, who, who's going to contribute from, uh, from it? Let's think how we should avoid this uh, event happening in every country. And then some particular comments about Chechens as well. Why do the Chechens need that? Uh, that's Alexander from Rostov uh, on Don asking. They're very cautious usually, and they're not uh, religious fanatics. So maybe it's not the Russian Chechens involved. Um, so uh, there's quite a lot of disbelief and uh, questions, really. If one had watched the American news channels over the past three or four days, as soon as uh, these two young men, as soon as their lineage came out, the Chechen element, the ingredient to this, there was this rush almost, there was this feeling, this undertow of, ah, they're foreigners, ah, there may be, they may be Muslims along that that was the feeling that one was getting but that's too simple surely just just to frame it in those terms absolutely and that's that's what the russian readers uh, russian speaking readers have been saying uh, uh they uh, they keep asking questions they keep raising them saying like perhaps there's some a wider international extremist group behind it let's not just look at with with the russian Russian Chechens uh, and also there's quite a wave of conspiracy theory comments on our website that we get as well like for instance Igor from Iwana was saying the boys may not have been aware of what they were doing perhaps they were paid by the organizers just to carry the bags and put them in a certain place I doubt they make bombs that requires a different level of skills um, and also there were more uh, straightforward suggestions if you like um, uh, uh, a lady called Lou was saying the political affair doesn't have much with robbing a shop. 
uh, and the, their father, the, the father of the boys, um, was saying that the whole thing was set up. So perhaps we should be looking for more links with Lubyanka here. So there have been even, you know, speculation from the Russian readers that there have been Russian secret services involved in this case. Allegations, investigation and speculation. We've got a long process to go through now, of course. Natalia, many thanks. We'll be talking live with our correspondent in Boston, David Willis, just a little later here on BBC World News. Do stay with us.